Hey guys, it's me Ravenscroft here. I'm playing some Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, and today I'm going to be showing you how to beat the Spec Ops mission High Explosive on Solo Veteran. This is the mission under Echo, where you have to kill 10 juggernauts in the favela using only explosives and a knife. Now I'm making this video because I've seen a lot of tutorials on YouTube where people try to use the RPG, or they get a partner and do a knife trick, but that takes 10 or 15 minutes or they just run around the favela not really knowing what to do and they get some lucky shots. It's not very organized, it's not very consistent, and it's not very reliable. So this method is very simple. I'm using the thumper. I know it might spawn a juggernaut close by, so I peek out carefully. It did spawn one there, so I uh, remain calm and I get an easy headshot. It killed him. One juggernaut down. I'm going to run out here, spawn a juggernaut. I'm going to sprint back into this building and take cover. Now I'm going to line up my shot and pause and zoom in here. I'm sure you know about the horizontal lines on the heads-up display for the thumper. You just have to worry about the three on the bottom. This one, this one, and especially this one here, the third from the bottom. It has to be lined up with the bottom of the windowsill, as you can see. If it's not lined up with that, if it's too high or too low, you're not going to get a headshot, and it's going to be much more difficult. Also, make sure there's not too much room between the left side of the window and the wall in front of you because if there is, the juggernauts can see you more easily and they might shoot and kill you. Now naturally I would miss the first shot when I'm filming a tutorial, but don't worry, it was just a bad shot on my part. This method works 100% of the time. It's very easy, so I'm going to pop back into the building and line up my shot, wait until I see his head appear and then pull the trigger and get an easy headshot. I'm going to have to run out of the building quickly to spawn another juggernaut. But once you've killed two or three, they'll start spawning automatically so you can stay right in the building and not move. I'm going to line up the third from the bottom line with the windowsill. There you go, another headshot. So I've already killed three juggernauts using just a few grenades. I missed that shot, so I'm going to jump outside the building here. When you're outside of the building, the juggernauts can't follow you. They have to go all the way around the building, so it gives you time to take cover, regain your health, and line up your shots. Now when they walk past the window again, that's when you pull the trigger. So I'm just over a minute here, I'm making great time, I've already killed four, now five, so I'm halfway done, and I'm even going to make one more here. So I've just killed three juggernauts in a row, I'm still making great time, I haven't used claymores or C4 or anything like that, I missed a shot there so I'll pop out of the building. If you stay outside for more than four or five seconds really, the juggernauts will walk all the way around the building, they'll be staring you in the face, and they'll certainly kill you. So make sure you don't stay outside for too long, or else you might be killed. Now I'm going to jump out, uh, back inside the building here, line up my shot, wait until his head appears, and then pull the trigger. If you react too quickly because you might be nervous, you're going to miss the shot, and you'll have to jump outside of the building, and you risk being killed. So just be careful, try not to um, be overwhelmed by your nerves or anything, and just keep your cool and pull the trigger at the right time. Now I popped back in the building too early there and the juggernaut was still in the doorway so don't worry just go back outside the building quickly and he'll pass. Also make sure you're standing when you do this trick because if you're not the trajectories will be messed up and you'll not get headshots. I got another one there so I'm down to two juggernauts left. I missed that shot. I'm gonna jump out of the building now you'll notice I still have six grenades left in my thumper. I haven't reloaded from the ammo crate for the entire run, really making great time and great use of my ammo. So I'm going to line up my shot here, wait to see the barrel of his gun and then his head, and I got another easy headshot. So I'm still under three minutes. I missed this shot, so it's going to take more than three minutes. But I still have four grenades left. I'll only have three when I'm done, but that doesn't matter because uh, you know all I need is the 17 that I've used. I don't have to reload. Just line up the shot, wait for the juggernaut to appear, and there you go. Bada bing. 10 juggernauts down in 3 minutes and 11 seconds. That wasn't even my best run. My best is 227. And that wasn't even a great run. I missed a bunch of shots. So that's 20 seconds better than Infinity Ward's best run. Uh, so there you go. High explosive on veteran by yourself. Uh, if you need any help, please ask, I'd be more than willing to help you out. Um, I really can't emphasize enough how crucial it is that you line up that third from the bottom horizontal line, because if it's not right, you're not doing this right, and you're going to miss. But uh, that's it. I'm Ravenscroft. Good luck on High Explosive.